If you follow my channel, you'll know that I always appreciate quality goods and especially a good bit of quality leather. Um, new brand for the channel, SYH Goods. And at first, I've not featured any uh, producers from Indonesia uh, historically. Uh, if you follow Instagram, you'll have seen that some fantastic products coming out of Indonesia, uh, especially around uh, leather goods, boots, really, really knocking out of the park. Lovely products that they're making over in Indonesia. And this is uh, a brand that's been around since 2015. So SYH Goods um, started in Bandung, Indonesia um, by Wau Sintaro. Uh, initially as a single artisan, but then expanding his workshop to keep up with demand. I think he's now got two or three colleagues in there. And he sent me a couple of really beautiful products. So he sent me the um, Bandai short wallet in natural veg tan. And he sent me one of his Himalaya Niku uh, dark brown rough out belts. And what SYH are all about is quality, as you can probably immediately tell. Uh, hand stitched, hand cut, hand burnished, um, really, really good leathers. So pretty much exclusively working in veg tan leather. So kind of the old way, um, rather than sort of mass produced chemical uh, tanning procedures, as you'll see with sort of chrome tan. Um, lovely, lovely products, all the, uh, the items or the components of the products are sourced and in the uh, packaging, which is really fantastic packaging, you get a little envelope uh, and within that, for each product you get from WOW, you've got the little hang tag telling you what you've got. You've got the origin of the leather, even the thread, so May Sai waxed linen thread there. A couple of other bits, nice little sticker, if you fancy sticking that on something, but really, really nicely sourced uh, and audible products, top quality, uh, not just from Indonesia, the leathers are often from uh, Brazil, in the case of the belt, and Italy for the wallet there. Um, so yeah, before we get into this, um, better explain what SYH uh, stands for. And SYH, I initially thought, how am I going to pronounce that? But it's actually an uh, acronym, so it stands for Show Your Hem. And that really is a throwback to the sort of the heritage denim uh, sort of themes um, and really sort of captures uh, the market. Um, lots of sort of Western and sort of denim embellishments on the products, like the little stud here on the wallet, a little bit of what I'd call sort of Western flourish on the stitching on the belt so yeah so wow kind of knows his target audience really well exactly the sort of things i like a little bit of a sort of denim sort of link there but yeah so what we'll do is we'll come in and take a look at the products so starting off with the bandai short wallet um syh do some of the really lovely um medium and long length wallets um much more sort of in keeping with what i feel to be the sort of the the western so in denim style, but to be perfectly honest, I like a wallet which comfortably fits in my jeans back pocket. And uh, I think I'll always choose a short wallet, um, given the choice. Really, really lovely. Um, this is in a Botero uh, leather from Concerna uh, Wolpia in Italy, if I've got the pronunciation right. Again, you know, always got the uh, information from the providers included with your product so as i said you've got the nice hang tag on the back there and then you've got the information about the origins of the leather um pretty cool feature i think um yeah haven't seen that before with other producers really really nice and uh allows you to understand where your products come from um three card slots inside so opening it up quickly you've got three card slots there You've got a lovely big uh, slot at the rear Oops, sorry. Uh, for your notes. 
and then you've got a couple of secret pockets, uh, one more secret than the other, so the not so secret pocket is uh, here for your coins and so forth, little flap on the top, and then just behind your three card slots you've got a second pocket there. Um, really, really lovely. Um, it has got a goat skin lining to the rear here. So you're not just on the raw um, back of the veg tanned leather. Got the lovely uh, stud with a little pin in there. Uh, very much um, denim sort of throwback there, a little laurel leaf design on there. Nice little bit of, bit of embellishment there. And then we've got the waxed cotton linen uh, stitching all the way around. Very nice, good size wallet. But I think you know what the star of the show here is and what really drew me to it is the natural veg tanned leather. Now, if you're into denim, you probably like to see how your um, clothes, products, etc. patina over time, how they gain that sort of elegant look from wear and tear. And this veg tanned leather is you know, the equivalent of uh, unwashed denim. So it is entirely what you make of it. And there's different opinions on how you might care for that. Um, but over time it will darken. So just a couple of examples here. So both from a uh, quarter leather or from that family of products. So initially, well, first of all, we've got this lovely uh, wallet. This was actually from the uh, the outsourced um, sort of sub-brand of Quarter, Albatross. Same uh, quality, uh, but they outsourced to Mexico for a while rather than hand making in, uh, in America. Amazing price point on these, but they don't make them anymore. Um, but that wallet started out the same colour as that uh, leather. As did this belt. This is from Quarter Proper, handmade in America. But again, started out the same colour. You can see the variations around it depending on how much wear it's had or how much exposure it's had. Um, both those products I let go completely untreated. So the oils and coloration on this wallet is simply from the, the environment it's been exposed to. So yeah, the oils from my skin <laughs> and so forth. Um, but the thing with this is it's been a little bit uncontrolled. There's bits of uh, indigo on there from jeans. Certainly on the belt, you can see a little bit of indigo staining around the edge. So I'm going to take a bit of advice this time round and give the wallet an initial treatment. Now, uh, SYH recommend an initial uh, treatment with lemon juice. And once that's uh, dried, uh, some form of conditioner and repeat that process every four to six months. Um, other uh, brands uh, recommend actually giving it a literal suntan. You can leave it in the sun for a few days and allow that to darken the leather. Um, or you can choose to use things like mink oil for a fairly darker uh, ready tone or neats for oil for a, a softer yellow tone. Um, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it simple. Always really like this um, healing balm from Chamberlain Leather. Uh, really, really good for touching up uh, small areas of, of leather which has gone a bit dry. Largely um, coconut oil based, if I recall correctly. So very, very gentle. You can apply it with your fingers. Probably eat it if you wanted. Um, but yeah, really, really gentle. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to seal the wallet with that just to stop any sort of rogue staining. Might leave it on my windowsill, windowsill for a couple of hours, see if that darkens it. But yeah, just going to keep it simple. But I'm going to give it a little bit of treatment just maybe to fend off that sort of rogue indigo staining. Um, but yeah, absolutely superbly made. I uh, haven't quite pointed out yet, but the burnishing on the edge of this is beautiful. Always like some good burnishing, really nice way of finishing off leather. But yeah, great stitching, lovely burnishing. A uh, bit of branding down the bottom there. And a bit of text there. 
handcrafted by SYH, made in Indonesia. Yeah, very nice. So moving on to the belt. So this is their Himalaya Niku belt. And this is a, uh, a dark brown, what they describe as a rough out, but it's a wax down, so it's not got any sort of, that's a suede uh, sort of nap or hair on it. Lovely burnishing along the edges. Star of the show here is this double pronged solid brass buckle. Really, really solid. Haven't seen anything like this before. Um, maybe that's just my lack of awareness, but I'm not sure if this is made exclusively for SYH, but very, very nice, solid brass buckle. The two prongs there are a single piece, so that makes it nice and easy for getting that buckled up. Nice bit of uh, what I'd call sort of westernised sort of embellishment, so imagine the, the trim you might have on a western shirt or a cowboy hat or whatever it might be. I do like that sort of little bit of flourish. The branding on the back, handcrafted, made in Indonesia. This is a size 33, so if you go with your true belt size, um, that's pretty much right. They put three extra inches on to allow for the, uh, the right sizing. And you've of course got these five nicely stamped, uh, teardropped, teardrop shaped eyelets. I think maybe I should have gone for a 34, but it fits just fine. That'll probably put me more in the middle range, uh, a little bit towards the end. A little bit of branding on the end there. Really nice shaping to the edge. So you've got kind of rather than just a simple um, round or a simple arch from either side, you've got a, a four step, so it arcs in and then comes to a point at the end there, quite nice detailing. But yeah, really, really lovely leather. So this is a Brazilian veg tan. About four and a half mils thick. So good thickness. Pretty supple. It'll ease up over time. And again, I might give it an initial uh, bit of conditioning. But yeah, beautiful. Hey, well, that pretty much brings us to the end of the review. Um, I will post a long-term review on these products some point in the future, certainly for the wallet. Really interested to see how this uh, patinas over time. And as I say, I'm going to try and treat it a bit differently to uh, the products I've previously had in the uh, natural veg tan leathers and try and get a bit more of a, a natural uh, or a bit more of a managed rather sort of uh, patterner on it. Um, but yeah, we'll check back on that. If you've had any experience with SYH, um, please let me know your thoughts. I'm really, really impressed with what I've seen before. I'll put a link below to uh, to their webpage. Please check them out. It's really, really good stuff. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen my channel before, please do check it out. Lots of quality uh, denim, footwear, leatherwear. Um, do have a look. You might find that we share some other common interests. If you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.